Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons. This video is going to be about population genetics and what is interesting about this video is that today we are going to solve problems with uh, three alleles in the gene pool and here is a problem and Hebert studied the frequencies of alleles for the gene that codes for the enzyme malate dehydrogenase in the water flea Daphnia magna living in the ponds near Cambridge, England there are three alleles of this gene, abbreviated S, M and F. Hebert found the following genotypes. And here is the list of genotypes. Three alleles can make six different genotypes. And uh, total number of individuals studied were 114. And here is the two questions. Question A. Calculate the allele observed number frequencies. And B. Is a population in Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium or not? And uh, if you know how to solve this problem, you may stop video here, try to solve this problem on your own first, and when you would be ready, you can run video again, and you can compare your answers with my answers and explanation. So, uh, how to find frequencies of the alleles? Let's study um, genotype that is present here. And as you see, we have um, S allele, so total number of alleles would be three and we have six genotypes. So in the genotype that is SS, homozygous for gene uh, for allele S, we have three individuals. That means that three individuals that is deployed would have uh, six alleles. So we have six S alleles in this genotype. We also have genotype SM. We have eight individuals and eight individuals would have eight alleles S because the other eight alleles would be M alleles. So six plus eight. And we also have S allele present in the SF genotype. So total number of alleles would be 19. And if we add all these numbers, we are going to get 33. And now, in order to find the frequency of this uh, allele in the gene pool, we have to divide by the total number of alleles. And total number, we have here uh, 114, but this is not number of alleles, this is number of individuals. And each individual would have two alleles. So we have to multiply by two, and the total number of alleles in this gene pool would be 228. That's uh, why we have to divide 33 by uh, 228. And the frequency of the S allele would be 0 0.145. Now we can find frequency of the M allele. And we have um, 8 individuals whose genotype is SM. So eight alleles present here. We have also genotype MM. We have 15 individuals. So 30 alleles would be present in this genotype. We also have 37 genotypes that is MF. So we have to add this 37 alleles that present in this genotype. And the total number of alleles would be 75. We also have to divide by total number of alleles present in this gene pool, 228, and the number of uh, or frequency of the M allele in this gene pool going to be 0 0.329. And now we can find frequency of the last allele, and this is F allele and F allele present here. So we have 19 copies of this allele. So 19 plus we have also F allele present in this genotype. So plus 37. And we have uh, 32 individuals who is going to be homozygous for this allele. So total number of this allele in these individuals would be 64. And if we add all these numbers, we are going to get 120, that we 
have to divide by the total number of alleles in the gene pool and um, as you see uh, f allele frequency would be 0 0.5 6 and if we add up all these frequencies we are going to get 1 and 1 equal to 100% so these three alleles represent 100% of all the alleles in the gene pool so we answered the first question we have found uh, frequencies of all the three alleles and now we have to move to the second question and question is the population in hardy weinberg equilibrium or not and if you know how to solve um, such problems using two alleles uh, you would be also able to solve such problems uh, with three alleles but this time we do not binomial expansion by trinomial expansion so we have three alleles as follows s m and f so the three alleles make the gene pool and because uh, organism is deployed so we have to rise two and uh, these three alleles can make six uh, genotypes so two here represent deployed organism so if we would have a tetraploid organism for example we would put four here so let's expand this formula and this is going to be s squared plus m squared plus f squared plus 2 s m genotype plus 2 s f genotype plus 2 m f genotype so as you see we have uh, six genotypes s squared represent ss genotype m squared represent uh, mm genotype f squared represent ff genotype and uh, sm we have here as long as here sf and also we have sf here and mf we also have mf here so six genotypes we already know um, observed frequencies and now if we plot these numbers here we would find uh, expected frequencies according to hardy weinberg formula and uh, just let's use uh, frequencies that we have found so for s squared genotype we would have s s and we have to multiply frequency of the S allele that is 0 0.145 we have to multiply by itself or square it and this is going to be 0 0.022 and we have to multiply by number of individuals because we need an answer uh, in absolute number of individuals so uh, we have to multiply by 114 and uh, the answer here would be 2 and this is going to be a rounded number so we have 2 as predicted so let me put 2 here and next we can find uh, SM genotype so let me underline so we all defined this genotype and sm genotype would be uh, 2 s m so we have to multiply frequency of the s allele that is 0 0.145 by uh, frequency of the m allele that is 0 0.329 and the answer would be 0 0 
95 and once again we have to multiply by the number of individuals and predicted number would be 10.8 individuals but we have to round it to 11 so the answer would be 11 here and uh, so we already find predicted number of genotypes for two so this is going to be SM next genotype would be SF so SF genotype observed number was 19 and now we have to use our formula to find a predicted number so so we have 2 SF so we have to multiply 2 by the frequency of the S allele and this is 0 0.145 and by the frequency of the F allele that is 0 0.526 and the answer going to be 0 0.153 multiplied by 114 and rounded number of individuals would be 17 and uh, here we have 19 observed number and predicted number is 17 so next we would have genotype that is MM so according to our formula MM in our formula stands M squared so we have to multiply frequency of the M by frequency of the M and frequency of the M allele in the gene pool is 0 0.329 so we just have to square this number and the answer would be 0 0.108 once again we have to multiply by the total number of the individuals and the answer would be 12. Point 33 so we have to round it to 12 and we can put this number here so predicted number would be 12 and observed is 15 and next genotype would be MF so MF genotype we have to multiply frequency of the allele M and F and here is the uh, part of the formula that stands for this genotype so we have to put 2 here in front and we have to multiply 2 by the frequency of the um, M allele that is 0 0.329 by the frequency of the F allele that is um, 0 0.526 and the answer would be 0.346 multiplied by the total number of individuals and according to the formula predicted number of this genotype should be 39 individuals in this gene pool so 39 here and absorbed number is 37 and the last uh, genotype would be FF genotype and in our formula we have F squared that stands for the FF genotype so we have to multiply frequency of the F allele by itself so we have to multiply 0 0.526 by itself and the answer would be 0 0.28 and once again we multiply by the total number of individuals and the answer rounded answer would be 32 individuals so the same as predicted now we can uh, return to our table and as you see, let me circle um, the numbers that we got here 
So here is our genotypes. With white color we have numbers that were observed and uh, with red colors numbers that were predicted by the Hardy-Weinberg formula for three alleles, trinomial expansion. And as you see, numbers are very close. So 3 and 2, 8 and 11, 19, 17, 15, 12, 37, 39, 32 and 32. That means that uh, this group is uh, very close to be uh, stable, but because probably uh, number of individuals is very limited and one of the assumption of the Hardy-Weinberg that uh, uh, population should be very large or infinitely large and here we see that population is very small or sample is very small that's why we probably have here uh, some uh, deviation from the uh, observed numbers and probably if we would uh, have uh, population that is greater than uh, 114 maybe if we would count in thousands we would have here um, equilibrium but uh, as you see we have small deviation from equilibrium so how we are going to answer this uh, question I would say that uh, uh, this population is not in Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium because of the small size of the population but if this population uh, this population size would be much greater probably this uh, population would be stable and uh, we wouldn't see any deviation from the uh, between observed numbers and uh, predicted numbers and this is all for today thank you for your attention please subscribe for my new videos that i post almost every day Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.